Hey guys, this is Airsoft NCT, and today we're doing a very quick overview of the Element LLM-01 2016 version. The Element LLM-01 has definitely had its issues in the past. However, being that this is the only kosher option aside from the VFC one, it's kind of all we have to work with. Now, already, this version does feel a little bit better than the one I have previously had. I did have an older Element version, however, being that this is the 2016 updated model, well, as updated as you can call that, this one is feeling a little bit beefier, even without batteries in it. And now, what's included in the box is not only do you get it all in this nice case, but you get your LLM-01 with a G17 Picatinny adapter, you get a rubber band, an adapter piece to cover up the pressure switch cable, you get some Velcro, then underneath this, you get your set of stickers, and then your instruction manual. Now, the Element LLM-01 does claim to have a lot of really nice features that you could find on the real one, including a visible laser, a visible light, an infrared laser, and an invisible infrared light. Again, it comes with that G17 Picatinny adapter, which is a nice one. It does feel a little bit more sturdy than the older ones I've had. I've had multiple break on me. You have your selector switch, which on my old version, this did fall off, but you can easily switch between infrared, off, and then visible. You have three buttons to operate the controls. We're gonna find out exactly what those go to because I know it's kind of been a crapshoot in the past. You have your cable, which is your pressure pad. It screws in right in the back here. And then you do have a plethora of correct markings, LLM01, same thing on this side. And then once we get the stickers on there, it's gonna look a lot nicer. As you may know, this is used by the Bundeswehr, the British military, and possibly other countries, so I will be setting this up with the German stickers, which they include on here. Before we get our test run going, I do want to note that this is the part that failed on me first last time. It does have a nice rubber gasket in here, which I did not notice on my previous one, but the screw stripped, so the cap would not stay on. Now, without further ado, let's get this going. So it is off, none of the lights work, let's test visible. Okay, as you can see, the laser is functioning. Same with the other side, both of those buttons work. Let's see what goes on here. Hey, there you go. So it looks like this light does work. Online, they did say it would be about 230 lumens. Only the light, none of the buttons operate the laser. When I turn this back, the side buttons operate the laser, the middle button operates the light. Let's test the pressure pad with this. Pressure pad is the big moment of truth. Rarely does this work when people, uh, especially on KVB, get LLM01s. So let's see how this does. There you go, looks like the light is functioning. Let's see if we can get the laser to function. Let's see if I press that, nope, still just the light. Okay, so it looks like the laser does not have any functionality with the pressure switch, but the light does and that seems to work. I'll be using my Lucy night vision system to test this out. So we are going to turn the lights off Turn this night vision system on and see how the infrared does. Okay, so we have the nods on. That is currently the visible light. It's doing fairly well. We are going to now test out just using the infrared light. As you can see, that does pretty well. Let's test out the infrared laser now. Okay, look at that. So we do have a laser beam that is extremely bright but that is functioning. That is visible light. But then when we go through the infrared laser, it functions as this. I'll be thoroughly honest. I was prepared to be very disappointed with this replica LLM-01 from Elements. Now, I guess that there were some improvements in the 2016 version and everything did function as it was advertised to when it arrived. We'll see how this holds up and maybe you'll be hearing an update from me in the near future, but for today, this is my overview and function test of the Element 2016 version, LLM01. For everyone watching, thank you very much. This is Airsoft and CT. I hope you enjoyed this little overview slash test, and we'll see you in the next one.